A new development update just released with a lot of announcements regarding features, games and open beta. Let's take a look. Alright, so here we are on the MCI forums and as you can see Noxide just posted this big thread with lots of information and we're going to go through everything real quick. First of all, this is just a development update. This is not an update on the server yet. It's just going to talk about MC Island and its future and changes coming to MC Island. Yeah, just a lot of exciting stuff really. But as you can see on this header picture, uh, we have Parker Warrior and something called Game Mastery. We'll talk about this in a second. But first of all, when is Open Beta? Open Beta will probably be in a few months as said here and that's because they still have to do a small list of things such as overall uh, some progression systems and some other systems that they want to release before open beta um, including new games and other fun features such as phishing but what does open beta mean exactly it basically means that the server will open for everyone which means you don't need an invite anymore or fast files to access the island once they begin open beta they will not reset anything anymore so that's great to hear but what's coming for open beta? And they're working on a lot, um, such as two new games that they announced. And one of those games is Parker Warrior. And it will be a bit different uh, as from the MCC event. It will have three different mini modes to help with replayability and to ensure that you get a varied parkour experience. We don't know what those mini modes are yet, but we do know that they're going to do randomly generated courses. And this opens for the option for them to take community submissions of parkour puzzles. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, we don't know when those community submissions open and stuff or what the process is. More about that later. If anything about it gets uh, shared, I'll of course share it as well. But the other game is a mystery game, which is not, which has not been on the MCC event. And it's a bit PvP aimed, but it's casual PvP, so it's not like a sweaty PvP like Sky Battle or Battle Box. But we don't have any other information about that game yet. After these two games are released, which will be released a few weeks after Open Beta starts, they're looking to bring games like Meltdown Survival Games and maybe Ace Race to MCC Island. Ace Race is not clear yet because they don't know how to make it fun to replay as much. Uh, and there's a ton of more games they've got planned, but those are probably the one of the first to come. And there have been a lot of changes when it comes to progression. Uh, first of all, cosmetics. There have been some big changes, or there will be big changes for the open beta. First of all, cosmetic variants will no longer require owning the base cosmetic in order to use them. As I said, there's no distinction between variant and base. They will still be grouped together in the wardrobe as it is now, but it doesn't matter which cosmetic of group you unlock first. That's actually a great feature which doesn't make it a grind to find that one, the one base. They also have a lot of changes to how you collect cosmetics. You're going to start getting champion score for each cosmetic you own. You can even earn additional champion score if you have all chromas unlocked for the cosmetic fruit group, which is pretty cool. The next thing that we're going to talk about is faction leveling. But as you can see on this picture, it will get some big changes, especially if you compare it to what we have right now. So it's, it's basically getting a complete overall. Instead of simple leveling roads with rewards for each level, you now get faction roads, as you can see on this on this picture. You will get big rewards at every five levels, as you can see. And your faction XP will also go towards several other systems, as well as your faction. And you also see at level 15, there's a special faction quest. And if you complete that faction quest, you'll earn a unique faction cosmetic, uh, which is pretty cool. This overall also has faction prestiging. This means that if you reach maximum level of a faction, you, you unlock a prestige challenge, which is a pretty difficult challenge. And if you complete it, you can advance to the next prestige. And you unlock a new leveling, ro leveling road with new rewards and a new faction quest and a fancier faction package. So you basically get to show off that you're... You've prestige ones and you can also earn new stuff, which is pretty cool. They're also changing stuff to questing. Instead of starting with six slots, you start with three and you can unlock four additional slots through the system of questing milestones, uh, which we'll explain in a second. And those quest slots unlocked from paid ranks will remain unaffected by these changes. Questing now has new consumable items, quest reroll tokens, which are basically additional one-time rerolls. And you also have quest refreshers, with, which replace all your currently completed quests. And also quest scrolls, which give you one-time quests to complete. And there's also milestones for, for example, quests, but also for other stuff. And each milestone system has its own collection of tiered mini challenges that level up the milestone. The mini challenges for each milestone system are related to your progression through that system. For example, your questing milestones will be leveled up as you complete more and more daily quests and quest scrolls. When you reach a certain milestone, you'll 
unlock new perks for that system. For questing, it is, for example, additional daily quests, rerolls, or more daily quests in general. The achievements overhaul, badges. Right on this picture, the left picture, you can see how it will look. It's, it's still work in progress, but it's basically, it's still kind of achievements, but they're being renamed to badges. It will work in the same way as achievement works, but badges will have more information. And they will cover all aspects of the server, not just games. So this will mean faction leveling, milestones, game passes, quest completions, all other stuff as well, and not just the games. And as you can see on this right uh, right picture, you can also see the changes to the personal menu. You, you now have six badge slots and maybe something else because you have this orange thing. I don't know what it will be yet, but maybe you can cycle through different pages. Another new addition to the open beta will be game passes. They will be replacing game tokens and the game token shops. So they will be completely gone uh, and replaced with game passes. Uh, you have a free game pass and a premium game pass. As far as I'm aware, you need to buy an additional premium game pass for each individual game. Uh, these passes will have a number of challenges tied to the game that you must complete to level up your pass and you'll earn rewards and cons consumables and cosmetics uh, from the game pass and and it, there will also be some additional extra difficult challenges which will unlock additional exclusive cosmetics which is pretty cool game passes aren't timed to a season and will never expire but over time there will probably be multiple per game meaning you can freely switch between them to choose which which you'd like to level up at the time but there will be a battle pass which is seasoned and it will have both a free and a premium road, each containing a large number of consumable items and exclusive seasonal cosmetics. And this pass will be progressed through the faction XP. So the faction XP you earn doesn't only go to your faction, but also through the battle pass, for example. And also another feature will be scavenging. So uh, there will be a scavenging system, uh, which will allow you to exchange your duplicate cosmetics and unwanted items for scavenged currency. Uh, so basically, any duplicates you have or any stuff you don't want, you can just scavenge them and you get another currency basically and you can use that to find or to gain other unique cosmetics and other stuff, which is pretty cool. They're saying there will be a lot of other stuff coming, but which they won't mention yet. And one last thing, they will have a developer Q&A, um, which, which they'll be hosting tomorrow at 6pm GMT in the MCC Discord. If you have questions, uh, you can join the Discord and do that stuff. I will probably be there as well and record it. And I will probably talk about the questions there and the most important things that's, that have come up. But yeah, that's basically all that has been shared in this uh, developer update. And it's really exciting, really exciting stuff. And I can't wait for the open beta. I, I won't share too many thoughts of my own because... That's not what you came here for. I really went over everything real quick. If you want the more detailed information, you can go to the forum post in the description. And I'll see you hopefully soon with another update or guide. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.